<laughs> That's really good, Clunk. You're good at flexing your muscles. Uh. <laughs> oh, so, um, Belle seems nice. Uh, maybe you should go over there, talk to her, make sure she feels welcome. Huh. Yeah, who knows, Archie? Maybe she'll be your wife one day. <sighs> no, I, I don't think so. She wouldn't like me. Well, why not? Yeah, Archie, come on. You're, like, super smart. Uh, it's because I'm a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Allergic to everything. Yeah, you're right. My money's on crunk. Yeah, my money's on crunk too. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think you're getting a little ahead of yourselves? Well, she's only been here for ten minutes, and you're already discussing who she's gonna marry. Well, you don't even know where she's at spiritually. <laughs> I think she looks pretty good spiritually. <laughs> <laughs> nah. She's not for me. She obviously wouldn't like the same things as I do, and she wouldn't let me play medieval warfare as much as I do now. Plus, I would have to listen to her talk, and I heard she talks a lot. I'm not ready for my life to be over yet. Wait. Being married means that your life is over? Uh, dude, marriage is more than likely the same things. Uh, no it's not. Do you really want someone who's gonna waste all your time looking for pink curtains and spend all your gold on new dresses? Guys, I, I like pink curtains. <laughs> well, no, uh, but marriage is more than just that. Yeah, like what? Well, the law talks about how you can trust a godly wife with anything, and she'll do you good all the days of your life. Well, yes, and marriage is so that you can help someone else become more like Jesus. Yeah, and she's supposed to bring me food from afar. <laughs> and the hot stuff. <laughs> well, it's not quite the cock. You are so shallow. What? what what I said? Look, all that stuff is great for you guys, but I don't want to get married for another couple years. There's so much that I want to do. Well, look, Narcissus, what makes you such a great catch? Yes. Well, really? What makes any of you such a great catch? Mm, well, um, I, I don't know. Well, uh, <laughs> girls can't resist my enormous muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Our hanging out is supposed to be for building each other up and not spouse hunting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Princess Snoopy! Princess Cinderella has arrived! Oh, oh, thank you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so, Hi. Belle, is it? <laughs> You want to watch me flex? No, no! Ah! Charming that I wanted lacy pillowcases. But Charming said no. He said he didn't want to sleep on stupid scratchy lace. So I started crying and he got mad. Uh, pillowcases? I know it sounds stupid, but I really wanted them. 
And preferring someone else all the time is a lot harder than it sounds. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I just didn't think it'd be this way. In what way? I always imagined, woo, that my prince would come on a white horse and sweep me off my feet. We'd get married and be so happy. Well, obviously. Then he would go off to slay the dragons, and I would stay at home and decorate the castle the way that I like it, and have tea with the ladies in waiting. Oh, sounds perfect so far. Then he would come home with a bouquet of flowers and tell me about his day, and I would make cocoa, and we would snuggle by the fire and share our thoughts about our future and the kids we'd have one day, and never, ever fight. Oh, well, that sounds perfect. What's wrong with that? It's a fantasy, Snow. It isn't real. Most of the time, Charming comes home with no flowers, no cocoa. Just these dirty boots on the table and, what's for dinner? <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Some days. Some days what? He comes home from a long day in the forest, and his feelings are more than obvious. No sharing necessary. Oh, he sounds a lot like Grumpy to me. Worst of all, some days, he doesn't leave. He just sits around the castle reading his news scrolls, asking me to make him sandwiches. Oh, the horror. <laughs> and don't even get me started on the mess. The hamper is right there, dude. <laughs> Great. I've said too much. Ella, that does not sound like marriage at all. Maybe you're doing something wrong. I keep asking him what's wrong. Did I do something wrong? But he just looks at me like I'm crazy and says for the millionth time, nothing is wrong. Oh, Ella, I'm so sorry. It's just not what I expected. So I've been giving him the cold shoulder. I haven't talked to him all day. Oh, well, well good for you. Maybe that'll get his attention. Yeah. Well, enough about me. So I see the boys are here. Who do you like these days? Boys? I don't need a boy. I need a man. You know. <laughs> Sometimes boys don't become men until after they get engaged. Well, well, how did you know that Prince Charming was the right one for you? Initially, I thought he was too quiet for me. He always just sat around and hardly ever spoke. But... Over time, I found he speaks when it's truly important. He is so smart. Well, does he have a brother? <laughs> what about Frank? He's very handsome. Oh, dumb as a box of rocks. It's so hard. And Peter? He's so immature. He should go marry one of his video games. <laughs> What about Archimedes? I hear he's very smart. And gets sneezed on all the time? No, thank you. Snow, maybe you're being too picky. You just gave me three reasons when none of these guys will work for you. And not one of them is spiritual. Do you know how much easier it would be to give someone Benadryl than teach them humility? <laughs> well, you don't expect me to marry someone that I'm not attracted to, do you? Why do some people get to fall in love and get married? then other people have to get married and then fall in love. <laughs> You're supposed to marry someone who is your friend, someone you can see helping you make it to heaven. It's a lot to trust God for, Ella. What if I get married and love never comes? When you're in the will of God, love is a consequence. How can you not love someone who loves Jesus with all their heart? Well, are you going to be coming to the Young Royals Small Groups event? I can't. I have to go home to my prince. We're supposed to have family time. Of course, I don't know how that's going to happen since I'm not talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that, well, you haven't really been around a lot since you got married. I know. We're still trying to get to know each other. Well, I, I thought that you wanted to get married to bring strength to the kingdom. But how are you going to do that if you're never around? That will come. The honeymoon can't last forever. Okay, well, it, it was very good to see you. It was so good to see you. Smooch, smooch. Goodbye. <laughs>